somebody reconfigure this entire computer. Hopefully it's In there. Okay, so let's uh, then we'll look at um, new structures again. So, but let's uh, let's take a look at this. Uh, for him. this one. You got to go to three D, right? <laughs> and after three D ten, we know we got to go four P. And I Or D, probably in all 10. E, I'm going to take a break. No. If I look at my periodic table and I don't need to zoom in, right here. <coughs> that, no, I have to end in P3, right?
registration notation, uh, what I take on. So, this is three and five and five. Then that has a full octet, correct? We have five, five S2, five three six, eight daily electrons. Very stable. So for the negative ion. Three plus what happened? Plus three charge. Left with a full octet four S two four. Yeah, three electrons. And plus five, we would get rid of five people. Um, there's a little bit of. And no matter which way I flip this. R space, you're always in three dimensional space. So when I hook these up, for a Lewis structure, we just did. I'm going to look at some uh, computer. It's pretty well done. So, time we were way at the end.
And we did our first uh, Lewis Strong. might have been full by then, so let's review that. Domains. So, double or triple bond that is one. take carbon dioxide Involves how many electrons total? Here, this triple bond only counts one. This is a two. This is the go to zero. Non bonding domains are electric. On pairs. What's the electrons? And it is in group number four valence electrons. Then group number. 17, so we've got seven. So that gets us. Uh, all right, 32. Let's 
That's what happened. Now, let me make a comment before we go ahead and draw this. On two dimensional paper, might say, okay, I've got two chlorines. Am I going to put my chlorines opposite of each other or am I going to? No matter what I do here, and I'll fix So I need to put two fluorines on here. In the end, you don't see any difference, right? You can't put them straight across from each other because we're in three dimensions. We're going to put down our central atom of carbon as to draw our bond with the surrounding atoms. Which way you put these around, I just Out of each surrounding atom, that's what I just did, right? Just did step three. Step four, we are on place lone pairs of electrons above each terminal atom to complete their octets. An octet is four electron pairs around the atom or eight electrons. Hydrogen can only have two electrons. And by the way, everybody's happy because at this point, chlorine has eight, right? It's sharing these two with carbon. That chlorine, this chlorine right here has eight. This fingers that central carbon has.
Everybody's got eight. I have 32 electrons. I'm allowed 32 electrons. I'm done. So now, bonding domains. Domains do I have? How many bonding domains do I have? Now, let's write in our electron pair geometry and our molecular geometry. I four zero. This up as electron pair geometry and molecular geometry in angle. So I've got four I'll show you the difference coming up. Station and polar nonpolar. Okay. Do NF three next. Nitrogen, nitrogen is in. So we got five valence electrons. Green, there is three of them, and fluorine is a group. Teen right here. So we've got seven valence electrons. Love 26. And we're going to connect. One and two backwards. Electrons, then we're writing the skeletal structure. We're doing two and three. Draw a bond between the central. If I was doing, if I was doing number one for direct, There's of electrons about each terminal atom to complete the right step. So, 
on this for you. I need 26 so far I've written down. Come on, then. I'm not done because I need to have 26 electrons. There are more electrons less left. Place them as lone pairs of the same atom. <coughs> This will sometimes lead to an expanded octet. Now, an expanded octet. Now, I completed my octet around the central atom. Every because. Eight, right. Non body domains. this middle part. I'm going to do electron pair geometry. Here. Yeah. Pair geometry. Electron pair geometry is a four zero. If they were all bonded, I could have four bonds on here, just where the electrons are. My true molecular geometry is a three. towards the positive nucleus both ways. But when I take 
here, that non-bonded pair makes a huge not connected anything with a of these other ones and it's going to repel the angle the angles so instead of I want to look at that video. And nitrogen in and we have four of them. A positive charge. Plus four is nine, minus one is eight. And let's connect our At this point, we're done. What you'll see though in owl and everywhere, they'll put a bracket around. for both. It's for electron pair geometry or zero for my I'm going to take a break. I'm going to pull the video. Uh, it's very well done. It's done 10 or 11 years ago. Uh, the gentleman has a kind of a monotone voice, but it's, it's done very well. Please do not get on your phone. Please look at this. zero right this would be a three zero and this would be a four zero Uh, 
Now, this is an exception to the octet rule. We'll have this coming up. This is only six electrons on this central boron. Otherwise, you have four here and four carbon dioxide on the carbon, and there's another pair of electrons. Again, these are all two zeros. These double bonds here, we're only looking at the central atom. So these two zeros, our molecular shape and our electron arrangement are the same. They're both linear. Everything has a bond. So everything here is two zero. Just looking at the central atom, three, zero. Again, this double bond here is only one bonding domain. So we get three, zero and three, zero. Everything there is geometry and the molecular shape geometry is the same trigonal plane here. Molecular geometry, molecular geometry is a two one. Bonding domains, one non bonding domain. But for the electron geometry, the electron arrangement, we could do three, right? In for the molecular shape, bent is a two one, a two one. But for the electron arrangement, you could actually do a third bond on there because. Of these molecular geometries are two ones. The electron geometry is a three zero. Four zeros, both the electron arrangement, four zero tetrahedral, and it is bonded to four. So they're the same, both four zeros. Around the central. These molecular wise are three ones. Molecular shape is a three one, which is trigonal pyramidal, but you could have another bond here. So for the electron arrangement, we do a four zero or tetrahedral. So molecular shape wise, this is a two two. All of these are two, two, two bonding domains, two non-bonding pairs, two non-bonding domains. But electron arrangement wise, we could get four, right? Now, concentrate on this one right here, spinning. Here is a central spin. This one's a central spin. This one's a central spin. I'll call this a top and bottom. What angles are involved in this? this is a five zero. There is nice symmetry there. What are the angles? All five zero. Five zero, these are 120 apart in the X plane. Can you visualize these kind of in the flat X plane would be 120 apart? And then this in the positive Y and this one here in the negative Y going down. So these are 90. This top one here is 90 
degrees to these other three, right? Likewise, this bottom one would be 90 to these three. So you get 20, two angles on this. And this one right here, all the bond angles are, this is a six zero. Everything here is 90. There are other shapes. Okay, so um, so here's the first one we did. Molecular geometry here for CH4 is exactly the same. This is CO2. Remember, this is just two bonding domains, zero non-bonding domains. So my molecular geometry, electron geometry is the same. Let's look at uh, water. So here's water. Notice that for water, this is not linear. This is bent. This is two bonding domains, two non-bonding domains. So the molecular geometry is a two-two. The electron geometry is geometry bent the electron geometry for a four zero would be tetrahedral. This is a six zero. I kind of put this in an X plane here. This, 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 and this in the X plane. This in a positive Y, and this is a negative Y. Everything here is 90, right? Zero, everything is a 90. As this goes around here, everything's 90 in this plane. Then from the top to these is all 90, and from the bottom to these is all 90. Everything's 90 degrees. See that this changes this non bonded pair here. And this should be at least double, triple this size. It should be a lot. This takes up a lot more space than what they're showing. Notice it flattens these angles out, right? Repelling. This big electron cloud is going to repel these bonding electrons. That's my molecular geometry here. is a two, three, right? I've got two bonding domains. I've got three non-bonding domains. So molecular wise, this comes out linear. Electron possible bonds I could have, total bonds on this would be, electron geometry is trigonal bipyramidal, five, zero. Um, this document uh, in Canvas, these two links are up here. Okay, CO2. Um, number four oxygen in valence electrons.
pair of electrons. atoms complete their objects. Okay. Sixteen. But the issue we have is there are more electrons left. Step five, that's not valid. Step six, give the central four electrons. Use the electron double or triple bonds. Any electrons, borrow them from other. As we know, our two pairs of electrons, triple bonds are three pairs, only carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, phosphorus, and sulfur form multiple bonds. Bonds. Kind of end up like this. The next two things. Domains and non bonding domains is a and my electron pair three and my molecular geometry are both two zeros. We come in Wednesday. Do the and you can start trying these one through fifteen, seventeen. 